You write a lot of letters, don't you, sir? Who's it this time? I'm leaving the man in peace, Jacko. Can't he just write a letter on his own? Sorry, sir. Just trying to make conversation. It's all right. Now she's to my mother, Mr. Jackson. Are you writing home tonight? Not great. Let her write, sir. Nobody to write to. Really? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not sure there must be somebody out there thinking of you. Sir, forget the officer's speak. We've, we've got beyond that now, haven't we? Yes, we have. Well, sir, this is a duty letter, isn't it? You've spoken about your duty as an officer and as a poet, although I don't really see how that can be duty. But what about your home, sir? And those you love? Love? Yes, sir, love. And don't dismiss the question, because you couldn't have written that sort of poetry if you didn't or hadn't loved. Well, I would have thought this uh, war would have brought all families closer together. It has mine, and yes, I do have a loving family. Officer, speak again. Talk real, sir. Okay. Answer this. Who exactly do you love? Well, now you're talking. And actually, that is one of the easiest questions to answer. Well, sir, so what is the answer, sir? Well, it's you. You people. You soldiers. You giants. Look at everybody. <laughs> Mr. Holmes is not with us. Yes, you're up. No, not like that. It's a proper man. <laughs> Come here. Right. The first... The first to force the others back of the hand onto the top of the table wins, OK? OK. OK? Yeah. After three then. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, must. One, two, three.